<laughs> I want to say good morning to the most honorable PJ Patterson, our former prime minister, who had a, an accident a couple of days ago, and we are told we'll have surgery this morning um, for a knee and hip, sir. For some reason, I think you're watching us this morning. I pray that everything will be well, sir, and uh, you will be up and uh, ready to go in a pretty, pretty quick time. Yes. Yep. I'm sure he has a TV in his Tony Tweed's wing yeah. at UE. Um, we know you'll be fine, sir. You're a strong man. Yeah. And um, we do wish you a safe journey and recovery through this surgery. Um, also, we have more hot topics for you. CMU to reduce fees, student fees, on the day of the president's arrest in the education ministry's corruption probe. Yes, my people. The students have welcomed the news of the reduction in tuition fees across all faculties. Um, everybody's asking, however, why slash the fees now? Why release that information one hour after the president of the CMU was arrested? However, we are hearing that it was planned ahead of that, right? Um, but it was just released that day. Um, so there you go. Some parents are happy, but just as I said, wanted to know why now? And that's what's going on. Yep. On the front page, it says no SOE Grinch. Um, business hours to be extended for Christmas shopping right at the top. So the Prime Minister says Paris is currently under a state of emergency. We'll be more relaxed or we'll see more relaxed business hours in a few weeks to facilitate increased commercial activity associated with the Christmas season. Mm. I will move it now. Um, so he says, and I quote, it is the intention of the government to ensure that by the Christmas period, by the first week in December, the closing times are adjusted accordingly to allow for people to enjoy the season. It is not the intention of the government to take away the enjoyment from the people. Um, that comes from the fact that a lot of folks are saying because of the SOE, uh, businesses are closing at nine, nine o'clock and we'll clubs are closing and, and they're saying well they're losing lots of money uh, because of that but uh, we're in serious times and I guess that's the reason this is happening um, but uh, as I just said the Prime Minister is ensuring that come Christmas they'll be able to open a little later and uh, hopefully earn a little more. Mr. Bell, this gymnast, um, oh God, Denusia Francis is doing so yep. well. I'm qualified for the Olympic for the Games, Olympic next, Games year. next year. Yeah. This is really good yep. news. And we also hear, what's going on with Johan Blake? New coach, what's going on there? Well, I'm not too certain and I, I don't want to comment until yeah. I know exactly what's okay. going on. The good news is that uh, Mrs. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, she's been nominated as Athlete of the Year. Yes! Um, woo, woo, this woo. is not Athlete of the Year in Jamaica. Talk it. I suspect next year she will win the um, a sports woman of the year. Yes. Um, but that will happen That's next ours. year for this year. Our sports woman. Yeah. Are... But she's been nominated as athlete of the year right across the world. Uh, she goes up against about 10. And I think we have an opportunity to vote for her. Oh, uh, really? as soon as, Yeah, we do. So as soon as um, I find out exactly um, how uh, you vote and open. when you vote and where you vote, um, then we will certainly do our best to help her. Not the first time she's been nominated and she won it already in 2013. The only uh, other female to win Athlete of the Year from Jamaica would be Merlin Otty, who won it, I think, back in 1990 or 91 or something like that. But so we're going to. Congrats uh, to Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Um, oh my goodness. Welcome the nomination and we pray that she will get it. All right. All right.